Hey everybody, Blind Shooter checking back in. Hope you're all doing good. So today's video is going to be my second attempt at doing an EDC VR to Patriot in the Darks challenge that he has going on. If you don't know him already, go over to his channel, check it out. Again, it's Patriot in the Dark. He's a blind shooter, a Second Amendment advocate, former United States Marine, great guy all around. You can catch him on Rick's Life as I See It, Shooting with Disabilities, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And sometimes he's there on Saturdays with Rick that does another show at 3 p.m. Eastern. So check him out and check out Rick's Life as I See It also. It's a good channel. So without further ado, getting started, my EDC that I'm going to begin with is a white cane. Now... Some of you might have seen somebody walking down the street with this. That means they're visually impaired. These uh, sticks tell the blind people like myself that there's an obstacle in the way and it keeps us safe for the most part. Guide dogs are effective also, but I don't have one of those yet. Um, just to give you guys a brief like, you know, description of it. Right now it's folded up. Um, they do make uh, regular standing ones that don't collapse at all. This one does. They come in multiple sizes depending on the height of the person using them. The traditional white cane has the white shaft, black rubber handle, and the white tip. You can get them customized to whatever colors and designs you like. Me personally, I just keep the standard white and black. Most people know what they are, so it gets everyone out the way. Although there are times where I do have to smack people with the cane because they're too stupid to move. Uh, this particular one is 54 inches. I'm a rather tall guy, so bigger is better in my case in this instance. Next up on the EDC for me is a flashlight. Uh, this one is a 100 lumen flashlight. has the belt clip that you can attach to your belt or your pan pocket. has the bevel top as a self-defense item also. It does have a strobe feature, but I'm not going to activate that because I don't want to blind everyone. Although it might be fun. Probably do that in another video. Blind all the sighted folks. <laughs> uh, some of you are probably wondering why the blind guy has to carry a flashlight with him since he's blind. Well, I do still have some usable vision, so the flashlight does help me. But, apparently you sighted people need light to see, so in emergencies, when there is no light, you're going to be happy that someone like me is carrying a flashlight. By the way, in case anyone hasn't picked up, I pick on sighted folks a lot, so if you don't like it, oh well. Next on the EDC list is a lighter. I uh, carry this with me on a daily basis because we never know when something's going to happen where you need to light something on fire to keep warm or you need a backup way to cook food. I uh, got this one from the Iraq Veteran 8888 channel when they do their man cans. They're not really that great anymore, in my opinion, but I mean, hey, if you can get something useful out of them, pretty good. Uh, this one isn't your traditional one, it's a rechargeable lighter. And with all the power banks and everything else that's out there nowadays, the cables are pretty much universal for this thing, which I've noticed over the months that I've had this thing, having to you know, play around with it. So yeah, good rechargeable lighter. Never bad item to have with you. Next on the trusty EDC list for blind shooter is the pocket knife. I use this mainly for work on a daily basis. I'm a building superintendent, so pretty much on a routine basis, I'm cutting boxes, rope, string, you name it, it's getting cut. Uh, I do live in New York, so we are confined to what we are allowed to carry in terms of pocket knives. Uh, this one has the 4-inch blade. That's the maximum length that the blades are allowed to be. It is folding because we're not allowed to have fixed blades or spring assist. Uh, this particular model comes with the belt clip. You can keep it on your belt. But a lot of people don't know, New York, you can't keep it on you like that. It has to be concealed in your pocket. Also... It's also a good survival item because it comes with the seatbelt cutter and the beveled little knob there for glass punch. Although I'm sure you can also use it as a self-defense item to 
Maybe hit someone in the eye, crack them in the skull if they're trying to attack you. Alrighty. Now, next on the list is a good old trusty handgun. Now again, I live in New York, and as most of you may know, we have the Unsafe Act, where we're not allowed to conceal carry. But if I ever was allowed to conceal carry, this would be my primary weapon of choice. It's the Smith & Wesson MMP, chambered in 45 ACP. I have a flashlight mounted on the Picatinny rail, and currently has a 10-round magazine in it, which it is sticking out a little bit, and that's because at the time I bought this particular handgun, we had the safe hack going, so we couldn't purchase any gun that had more than a 7-round capacity, but since then, the safe hack got slightly adjusted, and we can now carry 10-round magazines in our guns, so that's what's currently in this one. Yes, at the making of this video, this gun is loaded, which is why it's pointed in a safe direction and not at myself. Yes, blind people are able to use guns in a safe manner, contrary to popular belief. Now, with that being said, I do believe in making sure you are always well prepared. And, you know, sometimes you got to carry a backup for when your primary weapon fails. And for me, if we're ever able to conceal carry here in Kami, New York City, I'm choosing the Car K9 9mm as my backup gun. It's a compact gun, has a 6 plus 1 magazine capacity, and personally I like carrying this one in an ankle holster. Uh, not many people you know, think, hey, you're going to carry a gun on your ankle, so it's a great way to have a backup gun for when the primary one fails, if you ever need them. Alright guys, that's my EDC for now. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out Patriot in the Dark and his EDC challenge. Make sure you can check out Rick's Life as I see it also, another great dude. And until then, I'll catch you all later. As always, God bless the United States, and don't ever apologize for being American.